a major internet outage, FaceTime coming to Windows and Android, and Microsoft Teams getting an interesting reporting feature. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Abel with MEO Tech Bytes here to bring you some of the latest tech news. So first up, we've got a major internet outage that's taking countless websites offline. This includes Reddit, Twitch, PayPal, eBay, Stack Overflow, HBO Max, Vimeo, Spotify, Shopify, GitHub, and numerous other massive services, along with government news and business sites. The outage appears to have stemmed from CDN Fastly, one of the largest content delivery networks available to date. The Fastly service status page provided a short update confirming the issue, but didn't acknowledge what the issue was. The update reads, the Fastly team has identified the issue and a fix is being implemented. Normal service should resume shortly, although users may experience increased origin load as global services return. Fortunately, while reporting this, they provided another update confirming that all systems were go and that affected services would resume regular operation. They did note that it might take some time for the internet load to rebalance, but for now it seems that the crisis has been averted. All in all, the outage lasted about an hour, but its reach was undoubtedly larger than most. Next up, we've got the huge news that FaceTime will soon be available for both Windows and Android. Yes, at the Worldwide Developer Conference, Apple announced the upcoming FaceTime web app, allowing for cross-platform accessibility. Additionally, as part of the iOS 15 update, FaceTime is getting a Zoom-esque overhaul and a scheduling tool that lets you connect to meetings with a link. Apple also debuted a number of exciting features that should improve FaceTime's audio and video quality. For example, you'll be able to use FaceTime using your camera portrait mode, which will allow the camera to focus in on your face while blurring the background. There's also a spatial audio feature that will enhance the realness of your calls by shifting the audio based on where the caller is on the screen. Lastly, Apple introduced the SharePlay feature for FaceTime that lets you listen to music, share your screen, or watch TV shows with your friends on FaceTime. You can use SharePlay on your iPhone, iPad, Mac, or even on your Apple TV, all while watching or listening to the same media at the same time. The feature also comes with shared control, so that means you can pause or play the content at any time. Plus, picture-in-picture -picture mode will let you watch your friends' reactions and the media simultaneously. So far, Disney+, ESPN+, HBO Max, Hulu, Paramount+, TikTok, Twitch, and more will support SharePlay. We will have to wait a bit for some of these features to go live as there's no set release date, but the expectation is sometime in the fall. Last up, we've got some interesting presenter features coming to Microsoft Teams. The feature is called Reporter in Side-by-Side -side Presenter Mode in Desktop or Window Sharing. Reporter places content as a visual aid above your shoulders like a news story, while Side-by-Side -side displays your video feed next to the content. You can now select a mode that fits your needs and promotes a more engaging presentation and consumption experience. Unfortunately, while their original statement said it would be available now, apparently it does need some more time in the oven, but Microsoft said it should be ready in July. So if you've been wanting to live out your news anchor fantasy, then be sure to keep an eye out for many updates from Microsoft. Back to you, Jim. Jim. That's right, I'm alone. And with that comes the end of today's show, guys. Now, if you want to keep up to date on the latest tech news, then definitely hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification to make sure you're notified. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. My name is Abel with MEO Tech Bytes, and I'm running out of air.